what Marino was doing back in 1984. Right. Like, th that was a spread off. Unbelievable. I played against Marino with Duper, Clayton, and Nat Moore. It was it's crazy. And they were running deep routes. That's why, honestly, that's one of the main reasons I went to play two sports on one day. How could I leave a secondary without me abandoning the secondary <laughs> against Marino? And I'm sitting on the bench for nine innings in the cold. How can I justify that with my teammates? There's no way in the world you could justify that. What role did Nike play? None. I already had a Nike deal. I know, but I, I didn't know if Nike encouraged you. No, why would they? I was already prime. I'm just asking the questions here. <laughs> you can't make me no more than prime. <laughs> it's already prime. But they provided the plane. You put, you provided the jet, but it was going to happen anyway. It's just like, just rekindling this whole story. I never even know how the helicopter showed up to practice every day. Who, who did that? I didn't pay for it. I don't. How did that happen? I think I was just talking in the media one day. It was like, you know, 85, anybody from Atlanta, you know, 85 is packed, yeah. especially in those hours. Yeah. And I had to go from football practice to the baseball game. You know, how do I do that? And somebody provided a helicopter. That's it, cool. Why wasn't it, why wasn't it celebrated more? Because if somebody had a microphone in front of their mouth, we didn't have social media. We couldn't tell our side of the story. Someone that was, 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 was wrong. They missed it. They were wrong. They did not know that my contract was over in baseball in July. So how am I the villain? How am I the bad guy when I'm helping a whole nother organization when I should be playing football? How did you make me to be the bad guy? How did they? This right here. The microphone. Yes. And how can we regurgitate something that someone told you, you didn't even check your facts. But is that part of the reason why you wanted this 30 for 30, or you're glad no, that it, it's you can not. actually tell the, tell the story? It's like, you know, Bo, when Bo got his 30 for 30, a whole new generation realized yeah. what yeah. Bo Jackson and who Bo Jackson was. Well, they kept asking year after year after year, and probably pretty much for the football one. And I said, no, I said, if we're going to do it, let's do it, let's do this. Let's let the people know what really happened behind the curtains on a two sport in one day. Let's let's do it that way. And that's what we did. Anything surprise you when you watched? No, it did. Anything bother you? Yeah. Yeah. What bothered you? First of all, I don't know if you're being honest and truthful, why you refrain to come on camera. That's number one. That's a red flag. Number two. Wait, who didn't come on camera? Um, Bobby Cox and, and, and uh, Tim McCarver. They didn't. They didn't. Oh, okay. They yeah. didn't want to play a role in it. I understand. It's cool. But and did you get along with Bobby Cox? Bobby Cox is my guy. I yeah. love Bobby. Okay. I love Bobby. Bobby was a good man. Yeah. Still is. Yeah. He's yeah. a good man. I understand John Sherhold's not coming on. I, I do understand that. But why? I mean, just tell it. And then Tim McCarver didn't want to come on. Tim McCarver. Well, you probably figured why he wasn't going to come on. No, the because I, I said, you know what? You come on, let's talk about it. If, if it's right, I apologize. Or you apologize to me. Let's just do it. How did that come about, though, that, that McCarver, like you had that, I don't know if it's anger. No, I wasn't angry. But, but you dumped ice water on him. Let me, let me tell you why. Okay. Let me paraphrase. All right. Let me, let me. <clears throat> My mama called me. And she said, baby, this guy, who don't know who this dude is talking about. He's talking about you like a dog. Who is this guy keep talking about you the whole darn game? What is wrong with him? And when you, where I'm from, when you make somebody mama mad, <laughs> you got to handle it. Okay, I didn't know about mom. And oh. I handled it. All right. And I wasn't, I've never tasted alcohol. I've never been drank. I've never had a drink in my life. I've never been drunk. So I'm not a champagne pouring guy. I don't believe in that. I don't even believe touching alcohol. So I'm not a champagne pouring guy after a victory. So I said, well, water, bucket of water. So it, would it have been more appropriate if it would have been champagne? Because it was going to be something. Yeah. It was going to be something. Because I, I had to cool him off a little bit because he was, <laughs> he, was yeah, yeah. he was just speaking out of turn. I still, to this day, don't understand how can you make me out to be the bad guy and I don't even have a contract and then in that piece, John Sherholtz alleged that my attorney had a handshake deal with him 
that I would play two sports. Uh, if I would play baseball exclusively, you know playoffs. Everybody makes the same amount of money. So what deal did you consummate? What deal could that have been? It was never a deal. For more Dan Patrick Show, tune to Audience Channel 239 on DirecTV or download the Dan Patrick Show app.